Donald Trump hasn't been paying his tax. Instead, he's been carrying out voter suppression against Hispanics and blacks. He's grabbed pussies, though that's just locker room banter. Actually, no. Most men don't talk like that unless you're a creepy sexist wanker. He's called Mexicans rapists, which actually makes him a xenophobic racist. And also, multiple women have accused him of being a rapist. Pop kettle black. But just deflect, Donald, when you're under attack. He lies and lies, and then to confuse when confronted with truth, he calls it... Fake news. ...a malcontent. He sows division and falsehoods like a maleficent illusion, like a prehistoric Neanderthal trying to row back evolution. He's never heard of the Enlightenment. And big words. Big words just frighten him. There is a word he does like. Kafefe. Sean Spicer said... No, I, I think the, uh, the president and a small group of people know exactly what he meant. Yeah, of course we do. He didn't engage his brain or spell check before his finger clicked on scent. The Putin papers, the Stormy Daniels capers, tenant intimidation, sexual assault allegations, filing for bankruptcy four times. Shady dealings, white collar crimes, James Comey, Michael Flynn. Is Vladimir Putin pulling his strings? The list goes on and on and on. Yet nothing seems to stick. Donald Trump, more like Donald Teflon. He really is the basis side of humanity with a dangerous, narcissistic personality, not to mention a shaky grip on reality. <laughs> what was he thinking? Was he asleep? Had he been drinking? People of America, I want you to heal in this forthcoming election. But how are you going to heal with Trump in charge? It's not a cure. He's part of the infection. Remember Hands Across America, a magic moment, a catchy, uplifting song. Well, now this is your chance to reach across the divide again. To rise above, to remain strong, from balmy New Orleans to Flagstaff, Arizona. And up to snowy Fargo where the darker nights are colder. All along Route 66 or the old Pacific Highway. Or over on the other side, the Big Apple, where old Blue Eyes did it my way. From the ukuleles and dancing ladies and warm welcome of Honolulu. To the blanket of Alaskan snow that stretches out before you. The dazzling brilliance of the Everglades, the Grand Canyon and its mighty shades, Skid Row, where a hobo has a cocktail of President-approved bleach, deltoids and oiled-up trapezoids from the muscle heads on Venice Beach, north to south and shore to shore, your diverse, expansive reach, the Rust Belt, the Deep South, Motor City, the Mississippi Delta Mouth. What a nation of wonders you are, united states of america so surely when it comes to leadership you can and must do better donald trump is not the man you require he's barely a man just a flailing liar and even when he got covid did that bring a degree of humility no of course it didn't it just highlighted his vainglorious stupidity talking about and maybe i'm immune science isn't really your strong point donald you tamarind face baboon Kafefe. Maybe it was a cry for help, a nocturnal sob from a floundering president in the heat of the night realising he's not up to the job. Troubled times they lay ahead as modern sorrows seem to mount. So on election day take note and vote. And make sure that vote you cast will count. I mean really, what's the advantage of having a president who takes advantage? Who uses the nation, abuses the nation, suppresses the people and loses the nation. An international joke. An object of derision while all the time with his amphibious smile carves up the population with rancour and division. Kafefe, I think I've got it. An answer in this denotational hunt. It's his safe word. A warning for women. Just before he grabs your cup.